he's, he's, a, he's a fundamentally dishonest person who is trying to uh, use his massive platform to rile people up in anger at a, a group of elites who he dislikes. And that's what he does. And everything follows from that. And he uses culture war fights to do that. And so the culture war fight at issue this week was guns. Uh, and he wanted to get his audience riled up about the idea that these these elites were targeting the, the right as criminals and trying to take their guns. And that's what they always do when autocrats are on the rise and yada, yada, yada. This is, this is his mantra. Uh, it's incredibly dangerous. I don't mean to be blase around it, about it, but you know, this, is, this is what he always does. And so in order to deflect from the fact that, you know, obviously guns played a role in Highland Park. Uh, you know, he, he at one point said that, you know, if if, if the shooter had been unable, unable to obtain guns, he would have just had knives, which is, you know, he'd had these knives taken away during a police visit apparently a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. But it's an absolutely idiotic example because, you know, the, the shooter sat on top of a building allegedly and shot people. And what's, what's he going to do? Sit there and throw knives at people? It's like idiotic. It doesn't make any sense. Like his argument is terrible. Uh, but, you know, he just sort of glosses over it because that's what he does. His broader argument, though, was that he felt as though the there ought to be some consideration. I, I shouldn't even I shouldn't even soft pedal it. He basically suggested that there was a correlation, an important correlation between the rise in the use of antidepressants and the rise of mass shootings. And he tried to show this using data and did so very poorly. I, I thought the most remarkable part of his argument was the way in which he went from saying, you know, it's mentally ill people who are doing this, so therefore it's not the gun's fault, you know, which is a sort of standard uh, refrain we hear after these sorts of mass shootings. But he then very quickly jumped from that to, you know, all of these people are on drugs to treat mental illness, so therefore it's the drug's point, right? And so it's like, well, which is it, man? Like, are, are you saying that they're mentally ill? Are you saying that they're being treated for being mentally ill? You know, either way, all he's trying to do is def- def- deflect from the fact that, the, that there has been this increase in the use of these AR-15 style weapons. Uh, to commit these shootings uh, because he's trying to score important points. So it's fundamentally dishonest, but his argument was really a, a grotesque one that had no basis in actual evidence.